Uh, hi, I'm Red, and I'm the lead designer of the FK Journey, and I'm. Uh, Woo! 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 Uh, I am a part of the, the original original team that created the FK Arena seven years ago. Mm. All right. Me and Zhao Yuan both in uh, the Windows team, and it's an honor to uh, meet you all here, and I wish you have a a great time, a great moment, and uh, we would like to share our thoughts on the future of F journey, and uh, we would like to uh, hear the feedback from you and your your thoughts on F journey. Thank you. Woo! Okay, hi everyone. Uh, I'm Jiang Yuan, the producer of uh, F journey. And, uh, I'm so excited today because. Uh, you know, this is my first time in the United States and also oh. the first time I'm meeting so many players from overseas. Mm. Yeah. yeah! Welcome! All right! Yeah. Actually, I appreciate uh, your love for FT Journey and uh, hope you all have a great time tonight. Okay? Yes! Yeah. Okay! Thank you, thank you, thank you. We love it! So yeah, based on the question we collected, uh, collected uh, through a questionnaire, uh, you know, the Google form as well as Discord, we basically address uh, four questions. The first one is rewards and resources. Uh, the second one is future updates regarding gameplay. And the second one is non-meta hero. And the fourth one is re about uh, social system. So the first question I want to ask uh, Jiang Yuan and Red is, are there any plans to increase rewards for the specific game modes or like gameplay in the future? Uh, okay. Uh, before I uh, speak in Chinese, I will use English. Uh, rewards is important to everyone. We uh, you know that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now I will speak uh, Chinese, and uh, my, my friend will help to translate. Uh, 就是简言简易开始说的话，就是呃，我们其实知道这个我们的奖励还有进步的是真的需要，所以在这个新的未来的更新和新的赛季，我们会让这个奖励的增加随着新的活动和玩法一起，然后逐步达到一个更好的这个
So, and that's pretty much for the first, uh, you know, question, like first section of the question, which is regarding the rewards and resources. Next one will be addressing to future, uh, basic future updates regarding uh, gameplay. Uh, so the question will be, what's what's the roadmap for updates regarding gameplay, or, 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 or in general, what will the new game mode be like?第一个是我们会在未来随着每个赛季去增加一些围绕我们核心战斗和核心玩法的这样的大型玩法就比如说最近刚上线的这个 so yeah, um, so we will kind of uh, address this question in for uh, for a different approach. First one is we will definitely continue uh, developing new and exciting game modes around uh, the core combat mechanism. So the most recent example is Class Rounds, like I mentioned. Uh, which is released two days ago. Uh, we aim to cater to different types of players, you know, who, you know, who have different preferences with their own gameplay, whether they're competitive or non -com -com competitive, social or solo, or hardcore or casual players. Uh, so yeah, on top of this, um, uh, we are also uh, planning on implementing more casual, fun-driven content uh, in the future. Uh, those in, in regarding the pace of those ca more casual gameplay will be uh, you know on a monthly basis hopefully uh, and uh, we, by casual game I meant by you know all sorts of mini games or the, the gameplay modes focus on basketball experiences exploring as well as uh, gameplay regarding new ones. So, uh, as uh, we're aware that because we're promising diversified uh, game modes where more and more gameplays in the future. So, in the meanwhile, we try to avoid pre or preventing the gameplay be be become too burdening or exhausting to the players. So, the way the, the solution to, to address this problem is through, you know, uh, we'll kind of optimize or simplify the current or existing game, uh, uh, game, uh, game, uh, game. So, you know, a good example would be on the with the uh, online the launch of Clash Fronts. So we kind of simplify the battle drill, you know, which uh, give you an option to kind of skip the uh, uh, skip the battle function. Yes. Hi, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, uh, it's a long talk, and uh, then it's the uh, last uh, last part of this question. Yeah, yeah, this is. 最后这个部分的话就是我们在明年应该会给带来在游戏中带来一个叫新的机制呃称之为这个呃多玩血玩然后这个机制的话可以使得大家去玩自己喜欢的玩法然后但最后都可以拿到呃相似的奖品对有点
So yeah, uh, but, uh, I know this has been a lot talking about gameplay, but in next year, something concrete is that we're probably gonna bring uh, have the, we'll have the chance to introduce a mode kind of we, we, what we call it dual so in Chinese, but it's in English, which more like multi option system, which is allowing player with different preference for game mode to select the, the the game modes that they prefer themselves while getting the exact same rewards. Uh, just like you are in a, they call, the devs call it in as you as if you're in an amusement park or a resort. 补充一下就是当然一些核心的话，比如说 So specifically, uh, we're looking at you know by you know like multi-option system. We mean like say if you like a, a game was like Honor Two or Arcane Labyrinth or like fishing modes that you can play them while like, getting the exact uh, same re uh, rewards. Basically, we're giving you the, the, giving you the choice to select the game mode that you prefer the most. But we want to, uh, you know, this, of course, this excluding or not including some core, like some certain game modes such as like FK stages. So the point that the, through like this design, we hope to kind of not only, uh, you know, make the uh, player happy, you know, or like to choose whatever option they feel like they enjoy the most, but also giving are the development team the opportunity to uh, to design more distinctive kind of uh, gameplay in the game? Okay. So the dev the devs gave out an example saying, uh, for example, Honor Do, uh, it's definitely a unique game mode that, that, that enjoyed by a lot of our players. Um, naturally, on um, they won the better rewards out of uh, you know Honor Do as, you know, as the lovers of Honor Do modes. But you know, simply re uh, you know, uh, or bluntly, increasing the, those reward might undermine player who does not, uh, who don't like enjoy it as much. It, it as, as much. So in short, this mechanism is just allow players to receive the same amount of reward that through like different paths. We want to kind of, uh, you know, uh, make every players feel catered in our game. Okay. Oh yeah, and the next question uh, we have. This is a uh, you know second question we like kind of well like area that we have. To, Want to address on it's uh, it's the the third one is the game modes, uh, you know about uh, or not game modes but you know the the appearances regarding the non meta heroes in the games. Uh, we understand that you know definitely there's some certain uh, like uh, heroes in the game that's not very popular compared with others. So yeah, I'm going to repeat the question in Chinese. So, yeah, how many of you how you feel about the future of the game? <笑>那得首先我们其实这个也是一直是关注这些这个冷门英雄 so yeah, uh, we are definitely playing, uh, paying, have been paying close attention to the reliability of underused heroes or non-meta heroes. So on one hand, we're on, we're working on new gameplays related to you know, core combat, uh, such as battle, uh, you know, battle battlefield environment to, or boss mechanism to, uh, to that can provide opportunity for those non-meta heroes to shine or to appear more in battle. 然后第二点其实就是我们的这个这个赛季之间其实我们有一些比如说类似这个魔法配饰或者是这个这一天赋的一些变化其实也是能够重新让一些这个英雄能够这个活跃起来对就举个例子比如说在最新的这个迅马
uh, can also make some heroes more active throughout the game. Yes. So the example that would be the designing or the parents like you know, introducing the the you know, new war boss, the play a uh, creeper in the season, allow some great war heroes to become more active by leveraging their faction talents. And I think that's pretty much about non my heroes. The last section we have is about uh, social uh, social system design. So how we address the issue of inactive ser uh, server or the fact that you can't play with your friends. 就是第一个问题就是针对大家反映的这个服务器人数变少然后这个工会比较难招到人的问题对我们目前构想了一套可能称之叫这个社交服合并的一套逻辑对就是它能够让一些这个相邻然后不同的一些服务器能够组成就是
Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Um, I just wanted to share too on behalf of the dev team that they're constantly collecting uh, feedback from players like uh, everyone here. Uh, they have weekly meetings to address that feedback. So keep the questions coming and uh, yeah, let's open it up to, uh, to everyone. Anyone want to have a question? So you can stand up or raise your hand. So, uh, you know, I had things written down, but I'm just gonna go from what you guys just said. So it sounds like you were just saying that we might be able to, to like do questing with, with our friends in the future, like exploring the world maps in the future. Is that kind of what you were talking about? Like, like being able to, to, to do the main quests like together with, a, with, with our friends? Or can you tell us a little bit more about that? interested in adding a mentorship feature where you're going to have experienced players teach or guide newer players or even at least show them the ropes hand in hand with newer players? Come and to go ahead with Yes, definitely. Uh, we're, but we, in a different aspect, we're considering. Uh, we already have some like feature sets, like you know, uh, want multiple players making the same effort to beat a certain enemy or conquer kind of stage, certain certain stage in the game. Uh, this is one aspect we are thinking and currently under design. That, but you know, uh, we uh, it's definitely the aspect we want to address in the future. Thank you. And then well, I want to add the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, you mentioned about the mental system, and, and that's a very uh, good, good suggestion. Uh, we, will, uh, we will go back to, uh, to, uh, to the developed team and talk, uh, talk about it. Uh, not only the people can help each other in uh, the separate uh, game of tasks, uh, we will have uh, a uh, uh, system to uh, make, this, uh, make this run uh, more, 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 more
Moose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Moss Moose. Moss Moose. Uh, maybe uh, it's a very good idea. Uh, but we will uh, talk back to uh, uh, take it, take this idea back to uh, the developer team, and we will dis discuss about. It. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, first, thank you very much. Is there going to be anything like doing practice PvP against guildmates? For example, someone has like a plus 25 Tassie in your group, and they want to show you how much more powerful that character is versus, say, like a plus 10 or maybe an N plus Tassie. So you can actually get together, have practice fights against each other, see how the builds are, and not only having good practice, but building better, I think, guild cohesion as well. Oh, and, uh, shake, shake. Oh, thank you, Shishik. 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 And the second question is that for the for the for the get balls parts, so if we do not have time uh, to 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 go online and uh, fight the fight the balls today, oh. and uh, we lost the chance, so which means our our rank of our get uh, get will be lower. So so I think that's very important for our get. And uh, the third question is that can we also do the auto progress but auto progress when for the legend trail? So we don't want to sit, uh, sit down and see the auto battle again and again. That we cannot do not we can do nothing about the game. So yeah. 